Lisa and today I was thinking since it's fall here even in northern Florida that I wanted to do a fun fall project or basically show you some things you can do for your fall projects. So I was thinking there are so many ways to make leaves and of course you can always make a cane if you're a polymer clayer you can make a cane but I liked using this antique gold color that comes from Primo brand and I thought I'd show you a few different ways to use cookie cutters and these are called Kemper cutters K-E-M-P-E-R cutters and you can do some really cool things just by going out to your yard and getting some leaves which is what I did and uh, these are turkey oaks and these are some laurel oak leaves and you, what you want to look for are ones that have pretty pronounced veins because the clay will pick up on that and you can get some really really cool looks with it. So first to start off I just conditioned a piece of the clay and this is on the the third thickest setting of my pasta machine but it really depends on what project you're doing so if you need something that's more durable then you probably want to go with the thickest setting if you're if you need something that's not really going to get moved around or anything then you can go with a thinner setting. It all depends on what your project is, so just do the, you know, choose your size accordingly. But to start off with, you can use cookie cutters, and you can just press into the clay, and you want to make sure you press all the way down. And a lot of times, your your uh, clay will stick in to your cookie cutter, so you want to have something to push it out gently with. So I just have a knitting needle, and it comes right out. But always when you do use a cookie cutter, you're always going to have some little extra marks in there from where the cookie cutter joins. So you always need to use your fingers to smooth that out. So how simple was that to make a, a leaf, you know, out of a cookie cutter? But, you know, you don't want to leave it like that. So you can, again, you can use your knitting needle and you can start to create some texture just by running the needle and putting in some veins where you think they would go. So right there it's a simple cookie cutter and you can add you know your veining. You can be a little more exact if you want about it but there you have it and then you can come back and add some color to it with some some ink and whatnot. But I was thinking okay that's that's great and that's easy but how much more fun would it be to take an actual leaf and then impress that into the clay and then make a leaf using that texture. So that's exactly what I want to show you here. So this one has a really pronounced vein, but I noticed that the texture is more on the front side versus the bar back side as far as, you know, the, the really good texture. So I'm going to put the front side down. And you just have to look at your leaves that you're using and figure it out, which is going to give you the better impression. So here I am just using my acrylic rod and I'm just rolling it in to the clay. So you want to use a fresh leaf. You do not want to use something that's already dried out because then it's just going to crumble on you. And being a fresh leaf, it'll, you know, it'll stay together. You know, obviously if it's not, you know, something that's really brittle or, I mean, brittle or, uh, you know, too delicate. So now I've done that. I've just rolled my roller over it. Now I just want to pull it up. Now you could use some water to help release this, but I have not had any problems doing this without water as a release. So you pull it off and the veining is right there in the clay. Look at how cool that is. And now I'm going to come back with these Kemper cutters that I told you about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the vein part to be in the middle of this. So now I've got the texture and the vein built in and I can come along and cut it and I've got some of the coolest leaves let me show you the detail on that and that's by using a natural leaf so I mean the sky's the limit if you think about it and if you're going to make a lot of leaves you certainly don't want to spend an hour on each leaf and th this is a super simple way to do it to make uh, leaves really easy and really effective let me see if I can get you in closer to see the actual veining on those and that's all from the leaf. So super cool ideas to create really nice and simple leaves and 
you can use these in mixed media projects you can create brooches or or necklaces or beads like you could put these two together let me show you that piece your two together and now you would just smooth the edges and now you can create a bead just out of that you know you would I would let it set up a little because the clay is still warm but you could come back with a needle tool and then you can poke a hole in it and then you have a leaf bead and you can go through it either side to side or you can go through it this way and you know you just smooth your edges and now I've got a leaf bead that I could string up after I I bake it and uh, the one thing about polymer clay is it's a really low temperature that you bake at and with Primo I believe it's 275 degrees and I, I do it in my home oven uh, you can do it in a toaster oven but you want to use a thermometer an oven thermometer so you make sure your temperature stays on target so really cool simple easy leaves and have fun with it this fall season and make all kinds of stuff and uh, we'd love to see what you make so come join our community at craftylink.com and upload photos of what you make and uh, there we have a Tuesday schmooze day which is a live demo um, there's demos going on usually all day a really fun things going on from polymer clay to mixed media to you know to wall art and you name it we we have fun things going on so we hope you'll join us and uh, have fun creating some leaves